Okay, time to put the uh, cylinder head back uh, together. So this is uh, this is actually the uh, new uh, valve stem or valve seals. Uh, you gotta make sure which one you use. Um, this is the uh, diameter here. The valve on the exhaust side they have a diameter of six millimeter, and the intake side's got a diameter of five millimeters. So this is uh, one of the best way to do uh, check on those. The other way is you check on the uh, website realoem.com. Real, R E. A L O E M dot com. Uh, if you file in there your uh, last seven digits of your uh, serial number of your vehicle, your V I N vehicle identification number, you'll be able to uh, sort through the um, different uh, exploded view of the car, and you got the part number. So that's going to help you out to figure out where the things goes. So this one is the uh, intake one. So intake is the uh, when you look at it, the intake side is uh, the the parts are uh, oval like that kind of. The uh, exhaust side, there are like rounds. I'll show you. So if you look, these are the exhaust side. There are rounds uh, connection to the manifold. So I expect that the only thing you have to do really is just to slide it on. If it's a bit hard, uh, you need to go with a tool to punch it in place. Yeah, it's a bit hard. So I want to make sure I'm going to put it straight, so I'll go with a, with a tool to uh, put it in. Okay, so I took this... Uh, this comes along with a set I have for... Uh, I bought this uh, not very expensive for um, the uh, valve seals. It's supposed to be five millimeter, but it was bigger by about five thousand of an inch. So when I was trying to fit it in the uh, actually in the seal, it was not going through. So I had the uh, smart idea, and I'm uh, very happy that I did to check with the uh, the valve guide to see if it's gonna go in and it was not so what I did I, I took this part on a, a drill chuck on a press drill and just fired it down uh, measuring it once in a while making sure I got the right dimension so now it's just working fine I put some washer also because if you look at it it's going deep inside so I was not able to uh, reduce the diameter in inside so I don't want the when I'm gonna punch the uh, valve seal in place I don't want it to be this part to destroy or get stuck in the valve guides so I'm just gonna put some washer on it whoops so by doing so the um, the uh, valve seal is gonna sit on the washer here instead of uh, going all the way deep inside the uh, valves uh, seals or valve stem they have a, like a rubber inside so it kind of grips so this is why it's a bit hard to fit in so anyway this uh, this is gonna go pretty easy there is a part of that that we uh, screw there at the end of it I'll show you so there is a this is the tip I had so you screw that in a much larger part so you can uh, tap it gently with a hammer just to fit it in. So basically you just put your seal. Just put the seal in like that. Just put the seal in there. Right. And then you just line this up with the uh, valve stem and you just step it down. Or maybe just pushing it will do it. Here it is. Just pushing it will it's good enough. But no need for a hammer. So doing that for all of them, putting all the valve seals in there the intake side 
which are five millimeter diameter inside. And then uh, the six millimeter, I suspect, is the same thing. So there's, I got a 5.5. It's good enough. I don't need to go uh, with anything special. So uh, I'm going to keep going for the intake side. So when, when you answer the seal on the uh, tool, you got to be careful on the punch. There's a little spring here. And you don't want to damage the inside li lip in there. Maybe I should have made, even put a, a little drop of oil. You don't want to have oil inside there. Maybe like oil on the tool, just a drip would have been uh, a good idea. Um, and you want to take your time when aligning it, the tool inside because you don't want to damage the uh, valve guides as well. But it's uh, pretty easy. Uh, it's just a matter of not damaging the surfaces, but it's uh, working pretty pretty easily. So on the exhaust side, works exactly the same thing. Um, I took I got a 5.5 because the six was a bit too tight, and I put a washer here. It's working pretty good. The uh, seal seems to be a bit tighter though. But I double check the dimension on the according to the uh, part number, and that seems to work. Uh, that seems to work okay. So it's uh, same kind of thing. You just same kind of thing. You just uh, go with it. Just slide it in. Slide the pin in. And that's all. Uh, I dropped the washer, but it's easy as this. It's not a. It's not so complicated to fit them in. So that's the way it is. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver now to take the washer out. But it's really straightforward. You just put them on, push them in, keep going. It's a. It's a quick process. Okay, time to put back the um, cylinder head valves uh, in place. So to do so, I just put some uh, 4x4 and some more shims, paperboard, paperboard underneath uh, to shim the cylinder head because it works better to have it flat in order to do something like that. Um, the idea is to put a drop of oil on the uh, on the valve rod before sliding sliding it uh, from underneath uh, once this is done you uh, set your tool to compress the valves you set it in place so in my case it's gonna go this side this is shorter on that end um, the idea is that you wanna you wanna be uh, Using gravity, it's, it's going to help to put the uh, little uh, locking keys like that. Once it's on top, with gravity works a bit better than uh, if you would be sideways. So uh, you put the spring over it. You put the you put the spring over it like that. Just make sure, go around, make sure there's no dust. It's been a while we didn't work on that. So put it there. Slide the the uh, valve from underneath. And then compress the whole thing, set the locking uh, keys, and uh, here you go, you're set. It's going to help you if you use a mirror to make sure that your washer and lower part are well located underneath the cylinder head. Or you can try to go and look underneath it, which is not necessarily easy. So I think uh, if you have a mirror, that's going to help you a lot. Then you just... Um, squeeze the uh, spring and you just insert the uh, the little uh, keys like that they have to go with the cone uh, the bigger part uh, up obviously to fit in the cone on the uh, washer don't forget to put a drop of oil on the uh, on the rod of the valve before you slide it in. It's easy as this. I'll try to show you how it goes.
best way to do so seems to be go low enough, obviously, and then uh, you have to. Uh, the two shells are like that. They're like that. So you try to squeeze them like that with the opening. So you got you can put your pliers in there. And then you squeeze them. Just by the time you start to release the spring and then the cone is going to do the rest. So now um, since I'm set for intake, I'm going to do the second intake. It is right there. Since I'm set for intake, I'm going to do the second intake valve. It is right there. Then I'm going to do the exhaust of cylinder one. First valve, second valve. And then I'm going to move the setup with the wood blocks. So it's a matter of keep going and doing all of them the same way. The uh, clip the, uh, was a bit too low and it was hard to get it in the groove so I just put it out of the way, lift up a bit, uh, the release a bit the spring so then when I pushed it, it just climbed on it. When you release it, you just want to make sure you're centered with the two clips. It works just like magic. washer fell off which is normal I want to attract your attention if you look on the exhaust side the the valve uh, the way it stand out from the uh, the uh, the clips over the washer and if you compare it to the intake side you can see it's not exactly the same so I think it's a detail that is quite important because when you're gonna fit it you kinda wanna make sure that uh, you have the, them at the right, uh, the right uh, place when you release them also uh, one thing you can do is you can try the clips on the valve when you got it in your hands uh, without putting it inside or without the spring it's gonna help you to figure out what it should what it should look like when you uh, when you're gonna have it in place. <laughs> 